Hi everyone! I hope your 2022 is off to a great start. For my project this week, I sketched a little bird perched on a branch on a piece of 4x6 watercolor paper. I'll be using this little painting as the front for a card I want to send my Aunt Dorila and my cousins Nadine and Jolien. After making my sketch, I started my process by applying some masking fluid in the areas that I want to keep white. When I apply masking fluid, I always make sure to use an old brush that is specifically dedicated to this process. Once the masking fluid is completely dry, I can start my painting process. I'll keep my background pretty simple for now and simply apply this shade of greenish gray. For this little painting, I'm going to be working mostly with two different color palettes and most of the colors I'll be using will be mixed. I've listed all of the products I've used to create this little painting in the video description down below. When I'm working on watercolor paintings, I always start by adding the lightest shades of color first and then slowly but surely I start to darken my colors. Watercolors tend to dry lighter than they actually are when you first apply them, so it's important to let layers dry before you start adding more color. I've chosen to paint this little bird in memory of my uncle Melville, my dad's brother. My uncle was an avid bird watcher and nature enthusiast. This was a passion he shared with my dad and most members of our family. Though I'm not as knowledgeable about birds as my uncle was or as my dad is, I certainly have an appreciation for nature and I'm very thankful for that part of my heritage. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the little bird I'm painting here today is called a tufted titmouse. Please don't hesitate to correct me if I'm wrong. Now it's time to paint my little bird's crest on top of its head, so I've mixed a number of different colors together to create this dark gray. In areas where I want to add a lighter value of this same color, I simply add more water to my paint. Using the same dark brown I created earlier, I'll start adding some color to my little bird's eyes. Well, in this case, it's just one eye since the other one isn't visible in the image. Using the same gray I used for my little bird's plumage, I can also now start working on its feet. And I'll use the same gray for his beak because it's not completely black as I can see in the image. His beak may indeed be completely black, but the light reflected on it makes it appear gray. Then using a much darker gray, I'll start to add some shade to my little bird's beak. I also use the same shade of dark gray to add some color to my bird's wings. To paint the berries on the branch, I add a very light wash of red and then I'll start darkening the contour of the berries using a less diluted shade of red. Doing this helps create a little bit more dimension to the berries. I've decided to add some splatters of white paint to create the effect of snow on my painting, but I don't want to cover my bird, so I've masked it with a little bit of 
paper towel. I'm feeling ready to move on to the final stages of my painting, so I'm using an eraser to remove the dried masking fluid. And just like that, my painting now has some more highlights. My masking fluid applicator brush doesn't have a very fine tip and so certain areas seem to have been a bit heavy on the masking. So now I'm going in with um, some brown and I'm going to correct some of those areas that I don't want to leave white. Using the same brown, I'll also add a little bit more color to my bird's wings. Here I'm checking on my reference photo and I'm making little color adjustments where I feel they're necessary. Finally, I use a black paint pen to adjust my little bird's eye, and when I'm done with that, I'll also use a white paint pen to make some highlights. And with these little details complete, my painting is now finished and I'm ready to sign it and then add it to my card. I'm really happy with how the card turned out. Please don't hesitate to ask questions or post comments in the section down below. Thank you for joining me on this little creative journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!